Get out of my way. It's a coach. You're immersed in the NFL on EA. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They go with Leonard Fournette, third year back from LSU. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Jaguars. Leonard Fournette. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Falls. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Foles escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep back over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one, eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three. Hey, here we go, the here offense here we go. set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Now Foles, flush to his right. And a catch made here by Marquise Lee. It's celebrating and off he goes. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. They go play action here on first down. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I can't believe they let you play. Now falls off the play fake to Fournette. He'll buy some time right. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Go, go, go. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Avery Williamson, the Jets' leading tackler a season ago, in on the stop. From the 39, Foles flushed out right, completes it to Lee. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Blowing that play up was Henry Anderson. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense? Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Jaguars. D.D. Westbrook, his fifth touchdown now on the year. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. 
Got an open man, Keelan Cole. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And that play is able to get on the run and was still accurate during the football. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Throwing on second down. Foles. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. He has elite instincts on his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. But you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Alfred Blue, his first touchdown. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's good. He's got a man complete. A gain of 32 that time. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jordan Jenkins able to get him for a loss of about three. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Second and 13. On the move. And a big loss here as he's taken down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's out to his running back, Fournette. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately he throws a nice pass for a first down. Now a nice throw here, right side, he holds it in. Touchdown, Jaguars! Marquise Lee! Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. A play-action fake, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed, what a catch! 25 yards that time. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. down carry and he'll take it across midfield down into jet territory a good run there on first down and it'll leave him with a second and two eight yards the tally on that first down run here's second and two they'll run it again with Fournette and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 ten yards there good enough for a Jags first down I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. I'm yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. 
Throwing again on second and ten. Foles, flush to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 17-yard line. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's second and eight. Looking middle. And it's incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to battle the way. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe. They're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. That would a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Fournette running right. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. That one looks like he'll throw here. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So now we're in the final minute of the game of the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Fournette on the counter. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Jacksonville, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. and two, And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.